Topping our newscast this hour, more than six years after a Taft High School shooting left then student Bo Cleveland seriously wounded, his family is now suing the school district, seeking damages and claiming that administrators ignored the warning signs. 17 Zaytan Wallace caught up with the attorney representing Cleveland today and joins us now with that part of the story. Zaytan. Well, a little refresher for you. On the morning of January 10th, 2013, this was the scene at Taft High School after this student, Brian Oliver, opened fire with a shotgun, seriously injuring fellow student Bo Cleveland. Cleveland was shot in the chest and underwent more than 30 surgeries. His family claims the Taft Union High School District should be held civilly liable, and now they're taking the district to trial. In court today, the attorneys representing both sides met for a final conference in which a judge will decide which evidence will be allowed for trial. The family attorney, Daniel Rodriguez, says he has documents, testimony, and other evidence that proves the school district had ample warning, indicating Oliver had a desire to shoot up the school, but Rodriguez says the district ignored those signs. They had 10 months worth of threats, of all kinds of threats, and they basically ignored them. They have protocols in place, and these protocols work, but you have to implement them. They can be looked nice and fancy in binders, safety manuals, but if you don't follow them, it doesn't do any good. Rodriguez also claims the district was careless in leaving a gate unlocked that allowed the gunman to get through. He also said the school district had more than 30 surveillance cameras, but none were monitored at the time of the shooting. Now, we did reach out to the Taft Union High School District, and their attorney, Leonard Herr, issued the same statement he gave us in 2015. It reads, quote, We know that on January 10, 2013, it wasn't the school facility or safety measures that resulted in the shooting. It was the actions of one individual. We should mention that in 2015, Oliver pled no contest to two counts of attempted murder without premeditation and uh, was sentenced to 27 years. Meantime, juror selection in this civil case is set for early next week, and immediately after that, trial is scheduled to begin. In the newsroom, Aton Wallace, 17 News.